she laid her mom to rest on the night of with friends and family in attendance. She does something pretty special and scores 32 points for Jackson Academy. Wow. A weekend trip to Mobile ended in a way the Bradford family never could have imagined. We went down to Alabama for a football game and she wasn't feeling really well and she said that her head was hurting and she threw up at the game. They ran some tests on her and they found an aneurysm in the back of her brain. And so they went in to do the procedure to get it out and it ruptured in her brain. It left her in a coma and on life support. And, um, sorry, um, then they said that, uh, you know, if we took her off that she'd probably pass. And so we just decided that, you know, if it was us or if it was one of her daughters or her son, she wouldn't want that for us. So we decided to take her off. Following her own mother's funeral, the young basketball star decided to lace up for another game. I ended up playing with her high school number and I actually am gonna make it permanent now. So 30 was her number and now it's gonna be my number for this year because I wanna honor her. She was sitting up there at the stands at every game, whether it was home or away, to watch me play. All they've ever thought about was playing the game of basketball. She grew up doing that because of her mother. And so when she realized that her mother wasn't gonna be there, she knew that I've got to play this game because that's exactly what my mother would want me to do. And I can promise you, we did our best to say, Deja, you don't have to play. We don't expect you to play. Uh, but she didn't even hesitate. She said, Coach, I'm playing. And the senior guard had the game of her life. She taught me basketball when I was four years old. So it's just, it's a real honor for me and also for her because I know that's what she would have wanted. Reporting for WLBT Sports, Rachel Orchlinski.